Well, good evening, everyone. Good morning or afternoon, depending on whereabouts in the world you are. It's lovely to see you and I hope you're all doing well and having a good day. And thank you very much for popping over just to see what I made for tea. Well, it was actually last night. So yeah, tea last night was this beautiful chicken and tarragon casserole. I found this recipe online and I just thought it looked phenomenal. So I just knew I had to give it a go. This was the first time that I'd ever used chicken thighs and it will not be the last. You know, they were full of flavour and they're actually more tender than our normal sort of chicken breast. This is everything that I used here, but as usual, I'll put everything in the description box underneath the video and I'll also pop it up on the screen as we're using the ingredients, you know, throughout the recipe. This will give you five to six portions. If you manage to get six portions out of this, it will cost you 336 calories, according to the recipe, which I think is not bad, you know, considering you've got the bacon in there and the creme fraiche and the wine and you know, all those lovely ingredients. So yeah, 336 calories, which I think is not too naughty. Beautiful served with mashed potato or wild rice or even just on its own. We done a bit of everything. So let me go and show you how I put this together and you will need a casserole dish with a lid on it. The one I am using is three and a half litres and this is it here. So let me just go and show you, run you through the recipe which is very easy. So this is the casserole dish like I said I'm using. You also need a bowl at the back to catch your chicken as you're frying it off. Use whatever oil you like, get your pan nice and hot and you just want to sort of cook your chicken in each side for three to four minutes. You don't need to cook it fully obviously because you know it's getting into the oven for an hour. I done mine in two batches. Just make sure you know it's got a nice bit of colour on there and like I said I used olive oil but you can use vegetable oil or sunflower oil or one of these spray sort of light sprays. It's entirely up to you. So once you've done your first batch, just sit it in the bowl there at the back and quickly get your second batch done. I actually used eight chicken breasts in my recipe because there's only four of us, so I didn't need the whole pack. Then with the same pan and the same oil, I'm just going to pop on my bacon. These are bacon lardons or you could just cut up, you know, some regular bacon. This is just a bit chunkier. You want to cook that until it's nice and brown and starting to go crispy round the sides and just pop that into the same bowl as your chicken. Everything just gets done in the casserole, obviously. I'm going to pop my shallots in. I was looking for baby shallots, you know, the wee round ones. Couldn't find them, so I used these ones. Now pop your mushrooms and your celery and your garlic and everything into one pan and you just want to fry this for oh, three or four minutes just to soften up a good bit before you add your flour. And this is going to make your gravy nice and thick. Stir that through. And add in plenty of salt and pepper to your own taste. And then add in the white wine and you just want to stir this until it's nice and smooth. And then let this boil away for a couple of minutes before adding your mustard. I'm using Dijon mustard. Once it's nice and smooth you can go in with your stock and that's your gravy basically done. Just give it a good stir round. Make sure it's nice and smooth and well incorporated. And then you can pop in your potatoes. I'm using Jersey Royal new potatoes. Just make sure you slice them through the middle so that they cook in time. Pop those in. Give it another wee stir. Then we're going to pop our chicken and bacon back in. And there's actually plenty of room in this casserole dish. You know, you could easily add more chicken, more potatoes, you know, if there's more of you. And just give that a wee stir around. And we're going to pop the lid on and give this 45 minutes in the oven. Gas mark for 180 C or 160 C if you've got a fan assisted oven. Give it 45 minutes with the lid on and then get it out. You want to give it a good stir and pop it back into the oven for between 15 and 20 minutes. Just to get a good wee bit of colour on the top and it will thicken up your gravy a wee bit as well. So just into the same oven with the same heat as before and you'll have something that looks like this. Now all we have to do now is pop in the creme fraiche and also your tarragon and that's going to thicken up your gravy a good bit but this will thicken on standing you know the longer you leave this in the dish sitting on your worktop you know cooling down it will thicken up a good bit as well or at least that's what I found. 
So give it a good stir through and just reserve a wee bit of your tarragon for serving. And that's it done. How easy was that? And I've just sprinkled another wee bit of tarragon on top just before I plate up. And this was lovely. I'm telling you, the chicken, the bacon, the potatoes, you know, the, that lovely creamy sauce with the tang from the creme fraiche. I actually think, you know, the creme fraiche works really well in this. Because it's so creamy, it just gives a wee bit of a, you know, a different kind of flavour to it rather than just using regular cream. So all you have to do now is serve. Now, I had two different options options i had broccoli and that's the stew there with a wee bit of puff pastry on the top which makes it you know a kind of pie if you like and mr watts for tea is a big fan of pies or you know pastry on these kinds of things me and the girls had wild rice with ours and it just went beautiful with the texture of the wild rice and this was it here ever so bland looking but it was absolutely delicious let me tell you but just before i move on i did want to say as usual a massive thank you to the supporters of the channel over on my patreon page and to the new members here on youtube as well so thank you once again guys and thank you all for watching if you're still here at this point i do highly recommend that one you know especially if you've never tried chicken thighs before because i was really surprised i was just something just put me off using them i don't know what it was i think it was the thought of the bones and things but yes these were bone free and skin free so they were just chicken at the end of the day but they were just so much more tender than chicken breast which is absolutely blows my mind if you're not following me over on instagram instagram i'm what's for t3 over there so it'd be lovely to see you if you're not following me but i will be back in the next couple of days with a wee unboxing i've got my snack surprise box so i'm going to be uploading that instead of a shopping haul we're not doing a big shopping haul this week because we really don't need that much we're just just going to get some local bits and bobs but whenever you choose to join me again mind to have a wonderful rest of your day take care of yourselves and i'll see you off as soon back here on what's for tea bye now